Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we will see SAP MM Procurement Cycle. So the agenda for this session is overview of procurement cycle, that is determination of requirement, then how to create purchase order, how to post good receipt and invoice. So let's start with overview of procurement cycle. Procurement process is nothing but buying material and obtaining services from vendor. Let me explain you procurement cycle by taking a simple example. Suppose you want to buy a computer, so computer is your requirement. So the first step is determination of requirement. Requirement is a logical subdivision where it is deter determined that material or services are required by the company. Now next step is creating purchase order. Once the vendor has been finalized from which you are buying the computer, you will place an order with that. So that order is termed as purchase order. Purchase order is the formal and final confirmation of the requirement which is sent to the vendor. So you can create purchase order by going to transaction code ME21N. So next step is posting goods receipt. Once the order of your computer has been placed to vendor, you will be receiving that computer and you will posting that good receipt in the transaction code MIGO. Now next step is posting invoice. Once the computer has been received, you will be receiving invoice from the vendor and that you can post in the system by the transaction code MIRO that is MIRO. So let's do all these functions practically. In procurement cycle, first step is purchase order creation. To create purchase order, enter transaction code ME21N in command field. This will navigate you to purchase order creation screen. Or else you can navigate via SAP menu. So we'll just go back to the home page. In SAP menu, to navigate to purchase order creation screen, select logistics, select materials management, select purchasing. Now select purchase order. Now select create. Now select ME21N. This is purchase order creation screen. This is document type for standard PO that is NB. Here you need to enter your vendor details from which you are procuring the material. This is the header data. Here main important thing is organization data you need to enter your purchase organization and company code for which you are procuring the material next important thing is item overview here you need to enter your material your purchase order quantity your delivery date at which you are expecting your material to be delivered net price, your currency, plant and storage location. So I am entering test data here. I'll just enter test data in item overview. You can enter any future date in delivery date. Now enter your plant for which you are procuring. Your storage location. After entering all the details of purchase order, just press enter. Now click on save. Purchase order will be created displaying a purchase order number. You can display this purchase order by going to transaction code slash and ME23N. This is purchase order display screen. 
To display your purchase order, click on this icon. Now enter your purchase order number. Now press enter. This will display all details of your purchase order including your material, your vendor, material along with your plant and storage location. Next step in procurement cycle is to post goods receipt. Before posting goods receipt, we'll just check the current stock present for our material. So to check your stock, go to transaction code slash n mmbe This is the screen for stock overview. This will display your stock at company code plant storage location level. So here you need to enter your material, your plant and storage location. Now click on execute icon. This is the present stock for our company code. So we'll just make a note of this stock that is 1220 and we'll check this stock after posting our goods receipt. So to post goods receipt, enter transaction code MIGO that is slash O MIGO M I G O. This T code will navigate you to posting goods receipt screen. To post your goods receipt, you need to select goods receipt over here. Now against which material document you are posting your goods receipt, you need to select this one that is purchase order. Now here you need to enter your purchase order number. So we'll just enter our purchase order number. This is the movement type for goods receipt that is 101. After entering your purchase order number and movement type, just press enter. It will fetch all details from your purchase order. Once all details are populated from your purchase order, click on item OK. Now to post your goods receipt, click on save. Goods receipt will be posted with a material document number. Now after posting your goods receipt, you can check your stock in the same transaction code MMBE. So we'll just go to that screen. Now we'll just refresh. So you can see that our stock has increased. Now third step in procurement cycle is posting your invoice. Once vendor has submitted the invoice, you will verify it and you will post that in system. So to post invoice, transaction code is MIRO MIRO. So we'll enter transaction code for posting invoice in command field. This will navigate you to invoice page. Here you need to enter your PO reference. In this field so we'll just enter our purchase order number after entering your purchase order number press enter here you need to po post your invoice date now press enter It will fetch all your details from your purchase order. Click on OK on this pop-up. You need to enter your amount of the invoice as balance is showing as 1000. If that is the correct amount, now enter that same amount over here and press enter. 
After entering all the details, click on save. So invoice will be posted generating a invoice number. In this session we learn the procurement cycle, creation of purchase order, posting goods receipt and invoice. In next session we will learn how to create purchase requisition and purchase order from purchase requisition.